any cheese at all. No. <laughs> Who's been tampering with my question cards? It was me! It was me! <laughs> Why'd you come in? We were just about to have some cheese. Oh, no, not cheese. Sorry, it brings me out in a rash. Can't stand the stuff. Not even Wensleydale. You're wonderful, wonderful, marvelous. I think I'll kiss you now. Bill and Ben didn't understand why the sun was out in one place, but not in another. <gasps> Here comes the sun, thought Ben. But Bill thought the sun would shine more brightly. Crunch! Crunch! I'm the loudest, Charlie. I can do louder. No, I am! I'm louder. <laughs> when it comes down to it, there's only me and Keith Floyd left. Sorry, Tinny, if that was my fault, but really, I didn't mean to do it. It was because Tom came careering in with his wheelbarrow and knocked me right over. It wasn't my fault. It's Tilly. She put that big cloth on my head, she did. I couldn't see where I was going. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> One of us. If I'm ever out riding my bike at night. Oh. Ataru, you utter shit! No! Shinobu! It's a lie! Oh, ah. You could resist it, could you, like a dog up somebody's leg? Come on! This is all your fault, Alvin! Right, and I'm going to get us out of here. Tonight at midnight, we're going over the wall! So, where are we going to go first? Um... That way. No. You'd never know the doc gave him only one week to live. <laughs> That's it. The doc was holding out on me. <laughs> Old TC is going to cash in his chips in one week. When does International Rescue start operating? Speak, Kirano. Oh! Really? How come Mr. Daly is always so mean to you? <laughs> well, it only sounds that way. He's really crazy about me, poor thing, and it upsets him terribly. You see? Actually, no. Confidentially, folks, I ain't going south this winter. I'm going to stick around and check up on this winter business. <laughs> You'll be sorry! The policeman tries to stop him. There's a struggle, and Mr. Leoya runs off. He's caught, and they both fall to the ground. Imagine an era when dead parrots, cheese shops, and nudge nudge wink wink weren't part of the English comedy language. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. I do not even know what you just said! Precisely what I expected you to say. You're impossible. When I was little, Uncle Rico used to say, how do you know you don't like it if you won't try it? Well, you're gonna try it, Corneal. 
Bernie. Watch my chops. Never! So I know it was you who did those bad things, not Streaky. You tell her, Dre. Don't play innocent with me. I'm going to go get the cat carrier. It's time to take you to the shelter. Ah! Yeah! Whoa, good jump, Natasha. Yeah! <laughs> Through the tunnel, Ryan. Good jump. Okay, everybody, let's go back to class now. We'll have a drink and something to eat. Come on, everybody. You dragged me up. I glimpsed into worlds I should have known nothing about. Worlds with no morals and no responsibilities. And not just glimpsed, you took my face with your four hands and pushed it up against the window. We should have pushed it through. <laughs> what in God's name are you doing? You, you can't go out dressed like that. Why not? I'm Bill Cosby. Uh, okay, but I mean, I, you, you can't go out like that. Well, oh, come on, Mom. Don't I look like him? How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes, but... Chris, you can't just walk around in blackface. It's racist. Drunken old top! It's no secret, is it? Ah! Don't ever let me hear you talk like that again. <laughs> it's not funny. Uh-oh. Mittens isn't happy, Timmy. You squashed her snacks. With restrictions lifted at the end of the war, the BBC turned its attention to developing children's programmes. And in October 1946, the first children's television star came trotting onto our screens, Muffin the Mule. She was on fucking a fucking news. Guys, get can this we get guy in here. Oh, no. yes, it's not a fucking discussion. Right. right. Nobody argue. Everybody I am going to go in there and I am going to take you to fucking no, no, fuck no, off. Oh, fuck. Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, you know what? You've hurt yourself. You're going to prevail upon this miserable family to find you a new situation, ungrateful girl. Admit it. No, sir. I told you they do not like me, sir. To offer such a service, I shall advertise. Devil, you will. <laughs> 